<laughs> there was this huge horror monster and it swooped down from the sky and attacked us. <gasps> that sounds like the cowboy. There's no such thing as a cow goyle, right, JR? There are legends about a creature who claims that valley for his own, but no one has ever seen it. At least till now. Please, Marshal, you've got to escort us through the valley. Don't worry. We'll see that you make it through safely. Saddle up, boys. But move. What about the gold nap? You'll just have to wait till we get to the bottom of this cow goyle business. It's too perfect. <laughs> oh, yes, sir, he <laughs> What, Silverman? This is our chance to finally get rid of Moo and his cowboys. And put all the blame on that cow goyle. <laughs> you mean you want us to go into the valley of darkness with that crazy critter? <laughs> That's right, you coward. Now go and get terrible. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming, Marshal. I chased after that dong critter, but he got away. Glad to help out, Cogbo. Now, keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. You got it, Moo. No, Count. Just my finger, huh? That fella's got suspicious written all over him. <laughs> they won't even know what hit them. <laughs> That's enough. Now go signal me when moves under the archway. And I'll deliver the final blow. <laughs> Remember? You'll be 
iron a black eye if you don't stop yapping. Now get down there and set the powder keg. Oh, I, I still don't eat what I always had to do dead blame dirty work. Moo's got to get a real bang out of this. about that guy, and I'm not just talking about his cologne. Move! And inside of that slimy varmint? I'm afraid the cowboy got caught, old boy. The last thing I heard was him yelling, Help! Oh, it was horrible! Horrible, I tell you! It came at me from behind! I, I, I'm lucky to be alive! You better get some rest, Cogboy. Yeah, sure, Marshal. But then we gotta get this wagon train moving! I can't stop him this out no how, Moo. Why's that cowgirl trying to scare us? It ain't even Halloween. Yeah, well, I reckon it's nothing to do with tricking and treating, Dakota. This creature's got something else on its mind. Well, you mark my words, that shifty-eyed gambler's mixed up in this. What about that greasy cook? He's phoned in the wooden pumpernickel. Now, don't jump to conclusions, boys. Like Dakota the West says, sometimes the answer's in front of your nose, and sometimes it jumps up and bites you from behind.
Looks like Cody's not only taking the bull by the horns, he's taking the whole bull. Congratulations! 
Congratulations, Moo. You sure earned your weight. Well, it's time we put the legend of the cowgoyle to rest. I guarantee you it's Rich. I'm telling you, it's Blackjack. Sorry, fellas, but you're both wrong. It's Rooster Cockball. Lovely. Well, I don't get it. What was he after? The cowboy wasn't trying to take something. He was trying to put something on the train. Go. Go! We. You see, Cogball, alias the cowboy, is none other than the gold man. After Cogball stole the gold from Fort Knight, he stashed it in a cave. Then, disguised as a cowboy, he scared the folks away from the wagon train so he could load the gold in the wagon without being seen by anyone. What better way to smuggle gold across the mesa than on a wagon train? How'd you figure this all out, Moose? When I saw the tracks were getting deeper, I reckoned something was making the wagons heavy. Well, yeah, but why was Blackjack so protective of that chest? Yeah, I count because that's where I keep my lucky coin. But Gritz was acting out of suspicious, too. Oh, you can't blame him. You see, he's not really a cook. All this time he's been hiding that How to Cook book. He was afraid of being found out. Right, Gritz? I can't fool you, Marshal, no. You know, Gritz, maybe hustle enough grub isn't a job for you after all. I've got a much better idea now that Cogbo's out of work. You were right, Moo, about everything. Well, I couldn't have done it without you boys. And Detective Cody here. I'm glad I could help, Moo. But the next time I'll try to be a little more careful. Like the code of the West says, don't bite off more than you can chew. Especially if what you're biting is a cowgoat.